Welcome to Watch a Toko about where I review two ongoing Tokusatsu series, Kamen Rider Zero One and Kishiru Sentai Re Soldier. This week's reviews are for episode 9 and 32 respectively. Kamen Rider Zero One episode 9, I'll take care of your life. Isamu is defeated by Horobi and is on the brink of death unless he can get into surgery immediately. However, due to recent events, all human gears in the hospital are shut down and human replacements cannot be reached in time. Stuck in a tight situation, what will Aruto do? After the conclusion of episode 8, Isamu is ru rushed into hospital, fatally wounded by Kamen Rider Horobi's Sting Dystopia finisher. Metsubo Jinrai.net marches towards another hospital and Zero One fails to stop their progress. In a last ditch effort to prevent more hacked human gears, Vice President Jun orders the deactivation of all medical human gears, leaving patients, including Isamu, with no medical treatment. With a reactivation or deactivation possibly resulting in more casualties, Aruto must come to a decision on what to do next and how to stop Metsubo Jinrai.net. This week's episode is a great one. Aruto is thrown into a situation that conflicts or hampers his dream of human gear acceptance. By deactivating the medical human gears, it prevents Metsubo Jinrai.net from hacking them or activating existing hacked ones, but with no one to treat them, the patients will die. But if they do reactivate, patients will be treated, but this opens up the possibility of more hacked human gears or the existing ones activating, resulting in human casualties. Aruto wants to show that the humans are capable of goodwill, but is unable to come to a decision on what to do. It's because of this that Yua and Izu really do shine, and they get a lot of character growth and development within this episode. The fight cinematography and choreography was good this episode, and the pacing was fine. The episode featured the debut of Zeron's new form, Breaking Mammoth. Well, not really a form, but more like a mech. Satellite Zia transforms into the Breaking Mammoth mech for Zero One to use to fight the rogue Giga unit. The fight was fine. CGI for it was a bit wonky, but CGI and Toku shows really are. Uh, well, usually are. Although, my only problem is how this form will be used in the future, because it seems like an, it can only re really fight big foes like the Giga or used for rescue situations, as it's explained that's what it its original intent was. So it seems like this form isn't going to be used a lot, as it would almost seem too overpowered for a normal fight, plus, you know, real life reason, budget for the CGI. Overall for this episode, I give it a rating of 4.5 um, progress keys out of 5. A great episode, really good development for um, a lot of the main cast, nice action and pacing. Kishidu Sentai Resolge episode 32, when the reign of hatred ceases. The Resolgers try to find a way to save Nada from Geisorg, but in Minosaur with the ability to turn people against one another has been created. But what will happen when Geisorg appears to fight everyone? Ko and the other Resolgers are desperate to try and find a way to save Nada from Geisorg. They believe if they can destroy the armor, it'll save them, but as they try to search for him, Curion creates the Jack-O-Lantern Minosaur, who has the, the ability to create rain clouds that turn people against one another if they are soaked in it. As they fight the Minosaur, Geisorg appears to find another opponent, and when Toa has the idea of weakening Nada and forcing Geisorg to find another host, Ko takes it upon himself to absorb Geisorg's hatred and the armor to save Nada. This was a good episode. The Resolgers struggle on whether they could save Nada or risk his life to destroy Geisorg was portrayed really well. Ko, Tor, and Bamba really stood out in this episode as they all had an personal investment with saving Nada given their history with him. The scene of them trying to prevent Ko from coming, coming under Geisorg's influence and trying to motivate Nada to stop running away and face his struggles head on together is a really good scene. The Monster of the Week stuff of this episode was kind of just there. The Minosaur only really exists because its power actually does unintentionally help the Resolgers in saving Nada. Aside from that, the Monster of the Week portions were weak. Um, this episode debuted two new comb combinations, Kishidu um, Teramigo and Kishidu Ojet. The former one is okay, but the Kishidu Ojet looked good. But given this was a Geisorg focus, the introduction of these two new comb combinations felt kind of weak. There was no real setup or build up for them to exist. The fight cinematography and choreography was okay. It was minimal given the direction and tone of this episode, but it was okay nonetheless. The pacing of the episode was okay as well. So for episode 32, I give it an overall rating of 4 to 5 Russols. A good guy sorg focus episode and neatly wrapped up his and Nata's uh, storyline. Uh, okay combination debuts and fight scenes. Um, overall good episode. 
Thank you all for watching, and remember if you're new to the OzCrest channel, try to pick up your Rusol swords and slash that like, subscribe, and or notification bell, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The handles will be in the outro, and I will see you all in the next one.